you know, one of my favourite things in the world is the smell of a barbecue oh, yeah. cooking. You can pick up that scent a mile away. Absolutely, so Australian. You get a big nose for that and you know summer's on the way. Now, while we do lamb on the barbecue all the time, the chops, the cutlets, yep. the butterfly, what about the roast? I've never roasted lamb on a barbecue. A lamb leg roast is magnificent, takes less than an hour to do. It's really simple. And guess what? Later on, I'm even going to show you how to knock up three great salads to go with it. Sounds good. You want to start with an easy carved lamb leg. That's one where most of the bones have been removed. Supermarkets stock them, otherwise your butcher will take care of it. You find they come in these great little nets. What we need to do is get a little bit of oil on it and some salt and pepper. You going to do that for me? Yeah, easy. Good olive oil, great place to start. Do you season both sides? Oh, well, always. Right. I season everywhere. <laughs> Had a season, man. <laughs> roll it, roll it, beautiful. Salt and pepper at 20 paces, eh? <laughs> Now, a barbecue, really important. You want to have a barbecue with a lid and preferably one that's also got a resting rack. With your barbecue set to low, we're going to whack the lamb up here above the flat plate and then there's just one simple step to get it to the table. So, Ed, what if you haven't got a wire rack on your barbecue? Well, if you don't have a resting rack, head down to your local hardware or barbecue specialist. They do sell them to fit yours. Otherwise, you could cook it on the grill, but you need to turn it every five minutes or so. I reckon it's just the way to go. Oh, and by the way, you need a hood. <laughs> See, barbecue without a hood, it's an outdoor fry pan. Well, after 40 minutes, this lamb's looking sensational. Smelling even better. Sure is. But we need to get a bit of colour on there. So whack it down on the grill, barbecue up to medium speed. Give it about 10 minutes and remember to turn it a couple of times. Well, Joe, I'm pretty happy with that. It smells great. Oh, it looks spectacular. And it'll eat even better. So cut off the stocking, carve it really finely, and here's my little secret to make roast lamb come to life. Most people put their seasonings on before they cook. A bit guilty of that. But it burns. OK. I prefer to put it on afterwards. That way you get the whole flavour. So a Tuscan seasoning over the top, ready to serve. Oh, Ed, the warmth of that lamb really brings the scent of those herbs out. It does. The essential oils really come to life. And the perfect accompaniment will be three delicious salads. And we're going to do that a little bit later on.